Okay, I'm going to show the quick and easy steps for bringing in a step model for an enclosure and making it intelligent. So this is in C Electrical 3D panel and this is V2R1 Service Pack 4. So I'm going to drag and drop the step file. This is an Italian manufacturer and we've got the step file there just by dragging and dropping. That was easy. The next thing, when I click on it, it's been blocked as a single object. Now there may be several 3D elements inside of that, but when it's been brought in, it's a single object. If it's not, you can use Control A to select everything. And then very quickly, I'm going to go down to this panel on the right for commands. And I'm going to go to the command there for convert selected blocks to components. That's under the component tree. I'm going to click yes. And we can see it's going to bring in all that information. And we can just click OK. Now these are either mechanical elements it's picked up. And we could switch that and say it's a different type if we knew that. And also macro references, which are groupings. So now when I click, I've got the door, I've got the enclosure, and in fact the handles are still separate on here, so the separate elements. But importantly, so Electrical 3D sees this as an intelligent item, so dollar mechanical. We could attach an equipment code to this, a part number, a prefix, and a mounting space, so all sorts of uh, additional intelligent information. Now the first thing we're going to do is make it so that these can be removed or moved around or opened and then put back into position. Now we're going to use mating planes for that. A mating plane is a plane of surface which we allocate a plus or a minus with the same name and they snap together. Very handy. So I'm going to take the enclosure, right click and go to block planes and I'm going to create from surface and I'm going to use this top surface here. It's easy to find. It may not be on the actual enclosure but I'm going to choose that and call it minus door. I'm going to do the same thing here for this gland plate. So I'm going to select the enclosure, right click, create a block plane and create from surface. And that's a nice ACS, it's pointing away, it's pointing towards me. So I'm going to choose that one and call it minus gland plate. So that's the main enclosure that I've got two different mating planes. Now on the door, I want that to snap into position if I was to move it out or if I was to open it. So I'm going to right click on the door this time and there's no block planes on there. I'm going to create from surface and exactly the same surface. I'm going to call it plus door this time. It's the opposite. And if I just double click on that, move it out of the way and you can see already if I double click to move it as I move my cursor over this area, this mounting space appears. This is from the snaps on the top for mating. And if I click over that mating space, it just snaps into position. Now at the moment, the door handles are not moving with it. So let's have a look at that. If we go to the Explorer, click on one of the handles, we'll find that it's listed there. It's at the bottom of a tree of different related items. Now what we can do is to say, define a relationship. And here it lets us pick where the parent is and then what child symbols are related to it. But at the moment, this already has a relationship. So this handle, what we can do, I'm going to hold down control, select both of these and remove the relation. And I see in the Explorer, these jump down so they're not related to anything. Now, if I select the door and say, define a relation, I've already selected the parent. Otherwise I'd click that first. I then just select the child symbols. So now when I click on the door, these child symbols are already selected. So I can move it away and the door is there. Now I can see there's these two supports on the back, which are also possibly should be part of the door. So if I select the main enclosure and the gear plate and just hide those for the moment, turn it around. If I select the door itself and say, and again, I've gone a bit too far. If I select these two first, remove the relationship and now repeat what I did with the door handles, define a relationship and click on this has been the parent and these two has been the child elements. So now they're all getting structured underneath that same element. So I click on the door, everything else is selected. Let's just turn everything on. So next thing, gear plate or the gland plate, sorry, if I'm going to right click on there and choose block plane, create one from the surface and I'm going to click on that and put it as being plus gland plate. And again, I'm going to double click on that and I can already see when I move it around, 
that it's snapping into position. So I can move these confidently. On the door, for instance, I could right click and choose modify move or modify, sorry. And if I zoom in, I could tap R to put my reference point here in the corner. Now, if I drag on this axis arc, I can actually open it. I hit the space bar whilst I'm doing that. I've still got my cursor on. I can say I want to open it by 90 degrees. So it's nice to be able to open and close things. And to put it back, I just double click to position it. And you see it snaps into position. In the background, I'm going to turn the door off and all of its related items. Hide, selected and ch children. So now in the background, I have a gear plate already in this model, which is great. I don't have to piece these together. It's in the right position. So again, I'm going to select the enclosure. Add a block plate. I'm going to call it. Now that's actually in the bottom right corner. I want it to be in the bottom left, pointing the same way as this one here is. So I'm going to hit the space bar to move that around a second time. And now it's in the right position. Z is pointing towards me. Minus gear plate. And I'm going to do the same thing on the actual gear plate now. Block plane from surface. And again, I want exactly the same insertion point. That's essential. Otherwise, it will rotate or flip. I'm going to put plus gear plate. And I'm just going to double click and test it. And I can see, yep, that's snapping into position exactly the right place. Now, I can't see it very well. And in fact, I don't seem to have control of the color. So what I can do on a selected block is to go to the commands again. And under the color section, I can say set the color by parent for the selected blocks. And when you double click on that, nothing seems to have happened. But now I can set the color from up here so I can identify. I can see the gear plate much more clearly if it's a different color. So. The next thing to know is that items that are just machine or mechanical items don't have a surface which you can attach components to. So we can either change them into mounting plates or we can add what's called a machining surface. So here I'm going to add a machining surface to the mounting plate or the gear plate. I'm going to right click, go into machining definitions, and I'm going to add a new one here. I'm going to call it gear plate and the machining definition has its own planes exactly the same setup as before I'm going to go to create from surface and i want that insertion point on the bottom left and i'm going to call it minus flush mounting click on ok and the difference here if i close this down close it down both of these there's no ok or save on there we should find that for this particular point, this gear plate, we've now got a machining definition and that's our surface we can use. We can right click on that, set the working plane. And now if you just place in a piece of DIN rail, when we click and place it, we can now check, show the drill holes and we can see these are on the surface and if we produce a drill template, maybe for Perforex or Steinhauer, we can see that those drill holes are attached or are going through to that surface. So the machining definition is the important part there. Here on the actual enclosure, if I wanted to mount something on the outside or the inside, I could do the same thing. Create a machining definition. Add new. I'll just call it sides. Go into planes and I'm going to go create from surface, hit the space bar until it's pointing outwards towards me. I'm going to call that one minus flush mounting. And I can use a hash to say it's a certain just description. So it doesn't change the actual name of that. So I'm going to call that one right outside. And I can use that same set of definitions because it's on the same item, create from surface. And I can click on the inside of that enclosure area. Oops. 
and that one there if I just move that across is pointing in the right direction so I'm going to call that one minus flush mounting right inside and I can repeat that for both sides and the top and the bottom click on close and now in the Explorer I can see that that here has sides and I can choose the right outside or the right inside if I choose outside set that as the working plane if I was to choose a component such as maybe a fan if I go down to here click on a fan it's rather a big one but you can see when I place it in it's mounting on that surface again I must remember if it hasn't got insertion point snap point I can tap P to position it and I can position it where I want it and again if I check the drill hole template I can see that that's got the cutout on there perfect so now we've got from a step file an easy method of being able to make the whole model intelligent and snap items into there the final thing to do is to try and make it a bit simpler to actually attach everything together if I show all then what would be nice to do is to perhaps perhaps have a single item which we click on which is the paint parent and then all the other elements below this so what we can do is select the door and in the assembly section we can say remove the relation and then the door and all of its elements are put back onto the uh, the root same thing for the actual enclosure remove the relation and again that's dropped down to the bottom we can do the same thing with the uh, gear plate remove the relations well, that's the gland plate sorry I'm just going to hide this and do the same thing so now we've just got the macro which doesn't contain anything so we could right click and delete that safely and there's no elements below it and now we choose what the main item is define a relation and we'll say the panel is the main item and then we'll select this has been the first child the gear mounting plate has been the second child and I'm just going to do the same thing with the door turned on I'm going to select the panel has been the parent and the door has been the child and the end result is we've got a single item now which is the whole panel so if I click on that everything gets selected in the symbols I can just go in there and save that as my own symbol If I hit delete everything disappears I'll go back to standard plane front plane and if I just test this out when I click and place it I can select the whole object and I can also in the Explorer make use of any of the mounting planes that I've set up